Hello guys, this is Omastore, and I'm going to be talking about hog riders in this video and why I like them and some advantages and stuff about them. So, I'm going to go on to one of our players. This isn't the best player in my clan, but um, some of my players have just lost trophies to try and farm or something. So, if I... He has hog riders. So, if I just visit him, he's got... Um, nearly all his army camps fall, so with hog riders, so we could put m one more in there, and then it would be full with 36 hog riders. So, um, hog riders, why I like them is because they're they're like giants, only they can jump over walls. So, basic, they look cool. They're like riding pigs, um, but they do cost dark elixir. I'm not saying for um, Clash of Clans to change that, but I'm just saying that they cost Dark Elixir and the Barbarian King cost Dark Elixir and it's a bit of trouble for me. Because like when I get Hog Riders, I won't really be training them much because I want to upgrade my Barbarian King. Um, yeah, they cost um, a bit of Dark Elixir, not that much though. I'll just return home. And you can see them jumping without like jumping. I'll return home and just show you. So, here, when I upgrade to Hog Riders, you can see that they have 60 damage per second and 270 hit points. And then if you go on here and have a look at Giants, they... They um, have much less power, but a lot more hit points. Um, so, but they can't jump over walls, which is bad. Um, they take both take up five housing space, uh, so that's quite good. Um, but they cost, I think they cost 70. No, 40 Dark Elixir they cost. And the Giants, for me, the Giants actually cost just 1250 elixir so the giants are much easier to get so to just to finish off i'm just going to show you an attack which happened on my small account so and i had hog riders in the clan castle so it was really cool so let me just pause it here and you can see that um my miners boost so there might have been quite a lot of gold in there and my gold storages they've got a lot of gold in them in the town hall too um so this person came with clan castle troops a lightning spell and 22 level 2 giants you'd have thought that they would have won against my base because the three things inside the walls they're all maxed out and that's all that's maxed out except from that gold mine and that storage inside um, so, I always keep this archer at the edge with bombs and traps around it. You can't see them, but they will come up. Um, because people, when people see my base, they'll think they can attack it, but then they won't notice that. So, they can take me easy, but there's hog riders in my clan castle. So they put the lightning spell on the maxed out for Tunnel 5 Archer Tower. And they put the clan castle giants in and some more giants. They take out that cannon really easily. It might even be level two or three. Then they come towards here and my hog riders come out. I love hog riders, they're so cool. There we go, they're just taking out my their giants so easily. Finding this easy. The giants aren't even turning to them because they want to get the defence. We'll, meanwhile, those giants, there we go, are going for the archer tower. So there we go. Then my hog riders go to these giants and stop them just before the cannon is destroyed. Then over here... These giants are going to try and finish off the cannon, but my hog riders are going to get them. They're not going to get more than 19%, and that's a win for me. 
here we go. My level 6 cannon is shooting. You might think it's going to go down, but it's not. There we go. So, that's why I love Hog Riders. They stayed in my clan castle for a while until they eventually got beaten by a very good player. He wasn't as good as my this account here, but he was better than my small account. So, that's why I love Hog Riders. Um, please like this video, comment, ask me any questions about Hog Riders you want, anything, what I should do on my next video. Um, thank you for watching and goodbye.